Mike Wilson's mother saw to it that the 11-year-old would safely board the train on East 14th Street. It wasn't steam or diesel powered, it was a key system Transbay commuter electric train that transported passengers from Oakland to San Francisco via the Bay Bridge. The boy having been on the train before, always referring to this electric conveyance as the A train, because of the large letter A, displaying its route designation on the front. It was the beginning of another journey to visit, his Aunt Alice in San Francisco, but this trip was to be different, his aunt would not be waiting for him at the Transbay terminal when he disembarked. He would be on his own to board the K car, for the streetcar journey through the Twin Peaks Tunnel to Ocean Boulevard. There was a slight aura of ambiguity as he boarded the front car of the train, but immediately giving way to a wave of euphoria. Mike couldn't believe his eyes, an answer to prayers, a dream come true, the unbelievable had happened. The very front seat of the train, the one, on the left side across from the operator's compartment was empty, and he would be able to gaze at an unobstructed view of the tracks. Mike had been hoping for this to happen ever since his first ride on an electric train, the young lad hurrying to sit down, gazing at the remarkable window view now in front of him. The journey beginning, the train smoothly moving forward, he was in the driver's seat, keeping notice of the traffic lights and a watchful eye on the traffic negotiating around him as he mentally navigated his transport down the tracks. Approaching a loading area, stopping so the waiting passengers could board, then continuing on. As he journeyed through Oakland towards the bay, a recognizable structure appeared, raising up as a testament, to an engineering marvel the Oakland-San Francisco Bay Bridge, the train gliding onto to left side of the lower deck. The boy was hoping for an encounter, to pass an oncoming train would be impressive, but not yet availed. The next stop would be T.I., Treasure Island Naval Station, the train coming to a halt at the lighted station tunneled beneath Yerba Buena Island. The excursion vehicle motionless, waiting for the Navy personnel to disembark or board. Its mission fulfilled, the train pushed onward leaving the station to emerge onto the San Francisco side of the island. Continuing towards the city, listening to the clicky-clack sound of the tracks, the breathtaking unobstructed driver's view was an experience Mike would never forget. The A train crossing the Embarcadero on the elevated tracks heading southwest, soon making a sweeping S-turn between Folsom and Mission Streets, arriving at the upper level of the Transbay Terminal. Mike looked over to his right at the uniformed man sitting at the levers in the driver's compartment, the operator turned looking at him smiling, extending a thumbs up. Mike knew the way, he had traversed this several times before with his aunt. He descended from the upper level and continued down to the outside turnaround. It was here where the Muni electric streetcars from various divergence would renew their destination, and again set out on their route to deliver their occupants. The most impressionable attribute, besides stepping into the cool San Francisco air, was the congregation of well-fed pigeons, they fluttered among the steady stream of streetcars and passengers coming and going. The young traveler waited for the K car that would provide the way to his destination. Boarding the arrival, leaving the terminal area, the streetcar crossing Mission Street, then turning onto the tracks going up market towards the Twins Peak Tunnel. Crossing Castro Street, the K car entering the abyss, the two and a quarter mile journey having two station stops, Eureka and Forest Hill. Mike enjoyed traveling into the unknown, and as a young lad on a streetcar, entering a darkened tunnel was a sense of adventure. There was always a possibility that something exciting would happen, but as usual, it didn't. The K car exiting the Twin Peaks Tunnel at the West Portal, onto appropriately named, West Portal Avenue. The Ocean Avenue turn off but a mile, the familiar El Rey Theater coming into view. Young Mike getting off, walking four blocks up Victoria Avenue, 
then to a house at 538 Garfield Street. A smiling Aunt Alice greeting him, asking how his trip was, the 11-year-old still teeming with excitement paused, then briefly summed it up with one word, fun.